There is a new plan to relocate more than 3,000 state employees who work in Baltimore City's State Center to office buildings in downtown Baltimore. WM Air News Aaron McPherson is live from the Inner Harbor this morning with more details on that plan. Aaron. Good morning, Christian. Well, right now, a quarter of the office spaces here in the city are empty, and the plan is to fill those empty spaces with state employees. Now, the vacancies have increased by nearly 34%, partially because of downsizing and consolidation from the pandemic. The state has budgeted $50 million to pay for the relocation of more than 3,000 employees. Officials believe this will save the state money since they're spending so much to maintain the buildings they're currently in and they can spend less to rent out property downtown while helping to revitalize the city. So this is an opportunity for the state, the city and the business community to work together towards creating a safe, walkable campus like environment filled with nearby art, culture, health care, tourism, restaurants and entertainment. Baltimore City Mayor Brandon Scott couldn't make it to the governor's announcement, but said in a statement that his administration is working to ensure the surrounding neighborhoods would also benefit benefit from this. Now, the goal is to have all the space selected by October of next year. Now, crime in the area is also a concern, and today state law enforcement and other leaders are meeting with the police commissioner to discuss this. Live here at the Inner Harbor, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.